Level 40! Good golly, Miss Molly. I was actually expecting like 30s? Oh, oh boy. Okay, uh, well anyways, hi and welcome to Chronos Blades Octopath Traveler. Today, I don't know where we're going. I, I don't know where we're going. Oh my god. That is, that is quite the journey over there. Um, hmm. Well, Therian, what level is your quest? 22. Is that the lowest one? No, Tress is one. I mean, Therian's already in the party. So we could go to Noble Court and do Therian's quest, yes? That sounds reasonable enough, I guess. And we were already here before, so... That's right, I had business here. So, let's do Therian's quest. Arriving at Noble Court in search of Ruby of the Ruby Dragonstone, you quickly overhear a rumor that a scholar in town is using the stone to conduct some questionable research. The story so far. After successfully infiltrating Ravis Manor, uh, Therian was confronted by the butler, Heathcott, um, who ensnared him with a fool's bangle. Now he begrudgingly ventures forth to find the three Dragonstones, lost treasures of House Ravis, at the behest of their owner, Lady Cordelia, that he might have the, the, his mark of shame removed. And so he arrives in town, where rumor has it the Ruby Dragonstone resides. As for who holds it, none can say. And thus, Therian's search begins. Now then. A scholar in noble court. Thanks, Heathcott. Those are like a leaf a dozen here. Is it her? It's Heath, right? Heathbar? I need something more to go on than that. I'm glad it's on the outskirts. I've ordered if I can. Aye. That creepy old mansion in the northwest part of town? I heard someone actually lives there. Who? A man named Orlick? Orlick! They said he's some kind of scholar. Mm -hmm. What business would a scholar have living here? Didn't Therian just say that like a dime a dozen here or something like that? Research. Apparently, he spends all his time locked in his studies, studying some shiny red stone. His his men won't let anyone to see uh, let him in to see him. Hmm. <laughs> Dots. How convenient. Hmm. If you ask me, it sounds like he's hiding something. <laughs> he may very well be, but I'm fine letting him keep his secrets. Interesting. Huh, the secret he, he, he can keep, but the stone is a different story. Time to do some research on my own. Outskirts of town, was it? I don't need to restock anything, and we've already been here before. <laughs> Your mom likes collecting unusual things? Oh, it's a soul knife. Oh, wait, I need that. I used one last battle. Oh wait, no. Never mind. I used a different herb. Not awakening, but definitely helped. Eh. Ah, oh, crap. I should've went and got Philip's mum, shouldn't I have? Ah, well. Do you have anything? Really now? Okay. Yo, that's really good, actually. I guess Therian has gotten a few levels since the last time he was here, yeah? Not enough for that sorcerer's robe, though. That's not bad. It's a coin flip for that crit- Hmm... 15%, so a few more levels there. Didn't even go there. You know what? It's a coin flip. That crit's pretty good. And we apparently are marking him. But we have four more attempts, so let's do it. Dog. I'm gonna mark you all goddamn day. Thank you. 
Uh, anyone down here? Nah. Kind of hoping some of these, uh... Yeah, I can take this. These are good. I don't know how to buy them. Just fantastic. All right, cool. There's another part of town and a dog right there, but we're, we'll save that for another time. Um, let's see. Who had the critting? Oh, absolutely. We just have this one. Even more health. Um, lightning, invasion, so you can have this one? You know what? What do you have? Yeah, you can have that one. And that one. Sweet. Ah, uh, we should be fine. Let's go over here. This must be the place. How do they not even see you? They're blind. Uh, of course. It's guarded. Man, that last chapter's dungeon was really short. A scholar with his own personal armed guard. Hmm, yeah, that's not suspicious or anything. Yeah, like... I don't know what you're gonna do. You're gonna throw a grenade? Blow them all up? No back door, either. I can't get a free pass anywhere these days. I will swing by the tower, and someone's bound to know something. Can I go over here? No, I want to steal from them. And talk to them. Side quest, let's come over here. I guess we can steal some from people over here now. Mostly anything that's 100%, right? Or so tempting that I at least have to try once. Really? An I guess I already cleared this place up, didn't I? Huh. I mean, that's fine. Thank you very much. Stimulating. Alrighty. I might give that the primrose, to be quite honest. Oh, thank you? Were these always 100%? Probably not. To be fair, we haven't gained that many levels since the last time we were here. So I guess his chances go up fairly substantially. We did get that... That, like, uh, increased odds thing right here? Or was that another town? I think it was here. Oh, there was a house up there. With a sign. Now, then. now let's see. Who here looks like they know about our friend Orlik? Hello. How's business, my friend? Well, you see... Oh, not good, I'm afraid. I hope you're faring better. <sighs> oh, I wish I could tell you so, but it's been hard, hard lately for us, too. Oh. My condolences. Mine, too. Moving on. <laughs> I just don't get those people. Locked away in that manner, surrounded by guards. Mm. It's strange, isn't it? Makes me wonder what, just what or Orlik's up to in there. Well, that's more like it. Hey, mind if I have a seat? Hello. Not at all. Can I get you two a drink? <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, stranger. What brings you here? You don't look like you're from around these parts. <laughs> I'm a wanderer, going wherever my feet take me, and there's nothing better than a tall ale and a good tale for, after a day of traveling. 
you don't mind me asking, who's this Orlick fellow you were talking about? It's quite the name. That interested. I'll tell you all about him. Consider it. Thanks for the drinks. You guys are easy. Orlick's the talk of the town right now. True friends. He's a scholar and one I dare say went off the deep end, hold himself up in the building on the edge of town. Word is he's doing some kind of research and hasn't come out since. Just so. I heard he's investigating a stone or but nobody knows what for. <laughs> it definitely sounds like he's got a few screws loose. <laughs> you got that right. He's one you don't want to get involved with. Now that I think about it, though, didn't he have a research partner? Oh. Yeah, I heard he was another eccentric. I think he's still doing his research in town. Hmm. Hmm. What's his name? If I recall... Bonram? Barham? Barham. Yeah, that is it. Barham. He worked in that manner with Orlick, but they went their separate ways after a disagreement. Is that so? I guess they were too much for each other to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like it. Anyways, I hope that saves your curiosity, Wanderer. Thanks. It does. Thank you for your time, gentlemen. Idiots. Now, to track down this bar ham. Also, we could be getting set up here for all I know. Let's go check out that house. Oh, you know what? Travel banter. But also, isn't... This is probably Primrose, right? <laughs> Not a bad crowd, if I say so myself. Huh? Of course, the tavern where I used to ply my trade was far lovelier. It's hard to rouse the crowd without a little entertainment, after all. That's quite... The quiet works for me, especially when I need to talk shop. Is that so? Still, I might as well perform one dance and lift those people's spirits. Dots. Hey, where do you think you're going? We need to keep a low profile. Huh, can a girl have a little fun? I mean, go for it. You're technically the lead of this party, so... Okay, yeah, so that's Primrose's place in the future, then. Wait, is that my house? No. No, this is my house up here. This is where the, cu uh, the cutscene was. Oh my god, I did not put two and two together. Okay. Well, let's go back here and... Well, we don't really need the stale anymore. We already stole everything. But I guess look for Barham? Because why not? Barham is apparently down here. Is he in the cemetery? No. Wait, where's the cemetery? There was a cemetery here, wasn't there? Is that another town? Now then. Let's see if he's home. What? Who's there? Someone looking for a name, man named Barham. Let's hurry this up. I'm Barham. What business do you have with me? Is that so? I heard you used to be Orlick's research partner. Is that true? Yes, yes. That was a long, long time ago. I have nothing to do with that man now, and all for the better. If that's all you came here for, you can leave now. Goodbye. Huh. Wait, hear me out. Orlick has something I need. What? And what's that? I'll give you a hint. It's the subject of his research. <sighs> the Ruby Dragonstone. Indeed. That's the one. I see. I surmise you plan to take it from him. Guilty as charged. <laughs> and you need my help. That's right. Mm-hmm. I see. So you came to ask me about how to get into his place. Ha! <laughs> you scholars are quick on the uptake. Let's hurry this up. <sighs> Very well. I'll give you the answer you seek. You'll need a password, Anta. Oh. And the password is... <laughs> Presumptuous, aren't we? I'll tell you on one condition. Ah, oh, goddammit. Is that so? Let's hear it. Get what I need for my experiments and we'll call it Dale. 
sure. Sounds fair. What do you need? Pure water, unfiltered uh, filtered through the desert sand. The kind found only in the most pristine oasis. Hmm. Silami, I actually thought your demand was going to be reasonable. It is, you fool. A merchant from the Sunlands oft comes to town selling this very water. However, this rarity doesn't come cheap. <laughs> Price is never my problem. Consider it done. Alright, so now we need to steal from some poor, unexpected merchant for this guy. Well, I mean... I guess there's worse things for us to do. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna trigger this cutscene. Welcome, welcome. Come one, come all. I present you the most precious and refreshing beverage in the realm. It's called Pepsi. Oasis water, all natural and free of any, even the slightest impurities. One sip and you'll taste the difference. You there? How about a drink? Feeding time. If you lead a thief the water. Okay, but before we do that, uh, travel banter. So. So how does this thou propose in the getting the water from the merchant? Do you have to ask? You know what I do for a living. Thievery. Don't approve, do you? To speak truly, I doubt not. Uh, fair enough. It's no secret. What I do isn't exactly noble. Thou needest not defend in thyself. You aren't, you, we aren't comrades. I put my personal prejudice aside. Comrades, huh? Did I say something odd? No. Never mind. I don't know how you put it aside. You're an accomplice, you know. Okay, so we already stole a little bit from you. You're okay, so you guys already are the people I've I've stolen from. You are not. It's tempting. It's eighty percent. Hmm, that's gonna sell for a decent amount. You know what? Go for it. Okay, we'll get the other eighty percent one too. Hopefully. Fudge. Two more. Okay. This one's 50. This one's a coin toss. And the coin was in our favor. Alright, cool. Hi. This is mine. Goodbye. I got your water. I spit in it. I was kind of hoping I could steal from you. And that's that. I <sighs> hope you're thirsty. Uh -huh. That was faster than I anticipated. Now then. Fulfilled my half of the bargain. Now tell me the password. No. Now, now, your half is fulfilled when I say it's fulfilled. I will dump this water on the ground. I see what's happening here. I should hope so. I need a few more things for my experiments, if you'd be so kind. If you insist. Thieves are notorious for being kind. How can I help you? I require a wyvern scale. Can you procure one for me? I don't know. Where can I find one? Uh, sold in town from time to time. It's highly prized by scholars as re uh, re uh, regents. Regents, yeah, sure. And carries a price to match. Got it. The reagent or regent? I don't know. Uh, I'm noticing a trend here, but yes, I can get it for you. Yes, yes. Good. I'm counting on you. And then I'm gonna slit your throat. That's rude, Kronos. Well, he keeps playing me. Like seriously. I know I'm being a thief and trying to get my own way, but dude, I got you your damn water. It could have just been tap water for all you know. I should have done that. I don't think this place has tap water, but they have a river down here, don't they? Well, they have a fountain. Yeah, there you go. Let's grab that. What are you doing in my land? It's technically not my land anymore, but I want what you have. Thank you. 
Sorry if you were trying to feed your kids with this, but it's mine now. And there's going to be a, a scholar in a second. Don't worry. After I'm done stealing, I'm going to come and tell you guys that I stole from you for this dude so you can go after him. Because that's just how I roll, baby. Now, you're going to give me the password, right? Or you want even more fetch stuff? And that's that. I got what you asked for. Perfect. You're quite good at your craft. I need a password, not praise. And I need just one more thing. Jesus Christ. Wonderful. Remind me, who's the crook here? That's a fine attitude I had if you don't want the password. Okay, but this is the last one. Yes, yes. Yes, I promise. It's a special type of ore, metallic in nature, but crystal clear. Once I've had it, I have it, I can begin my experiment. <laughs> Music to my ears. Damn, I just, to assume I know where this is. I figured it was going to be in town, sure, but... Up here? At least I don't have to go anywhere, right? Yoink! Goodbye. But seriously... I want to tell these merchants that I stole this stuff for him. Or he hired some of the steel for him. And that's that. I got what you asked for, again, for the third time. Here. Catch. Careful. Can't careful with that. Anyhow, thanks. At least I can begin my grand experiment. Huh. Are you forgetting something, old man? Promise me a password. Duh. Ooh, yeah, Hales, the experiment comes first. Oh, my lord. I hope you don't think you can swindle a swindler. Wrong. Don't be ridiculous. Just be patient. I'll uphold my half of the bargain. If you want facts. Orlik and I have known each other ever since our years in the Academy. We acquired that manor as a place to continue our research. But he changed after coming across that dragon stone. It was almost like he was possessed, his life consumed by research. Oh, you're one to talk. He wouldn't let anyone go near him, not even me. <sighs> That's why I want to help you get that stone away from him. It's not meant to be held by our hands. Hmm. The password is the truth of all things. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> the truth of all things. That's easy enough to remember. Yes. And take this with you, too. This is... This is a key. True. Observant. <laughs> you use this material to make this. Yes, yes. You're a natural-born researcher, boy. Now the password will get you into the manor. But the door to the laboratory can only be opened with that key. You know what? I take it back. Hmm. I'm not going to set you up. It makes you, makes you think he doesn't want anyone getting in. Not even an old friend like you. <sighs> yes, we may have disagreed from time to time, but Orlik is still like a brother to me. My warnings may have been nothing but noise to him, but... I wouldn't be much of an older brother if I didn't nag from time to time. Passion is important in our line of work, but there's a fine line between that and obsession, and Lord Orlik's crossed that line. Hmm. So this moving friendship, or maybe brotherly love, is this why you're willing to help me? <laughs> I wonder. Perhaps it's jealousy or hatred that's come to drive me. But those bygone days are precious to me, even now. I know what I feel is true. Oh, really? Tugs at the old heartstrings. But my own reasons are more than enough to go through with this. Thanks. Hmm. 
Friends, brothers, partners. Dots. Dude, you got you got partners with you right now, man. I mean, Harnet called you a companion. All right. <laughs> I think we're in the clear. <laughs> Those Chino bastards finally got what they deserve. Ugh. Always strutting around like they bleed and own the place. I wish you could see their boat when they realize their boats when they realize someone beat them to it. No matter how hard they look now, they won't find our treasure. <laughs> Something this rare would be wasted on them anyways. <laughs> you said it. Now, we'll just sell this gem and... Wait. Something wrong? Where are the gold coins we stole? We said we'd split the spoils. <laughs> Sharp as attack, aren't we? It's not much, so I thought I'd just hold on to it and buy you a t uh, tiddly later. I see. Then let's celebrate with this uh, with this tonight. <gasps> yeah, let's. Uh. All right. But don't let your guard down. The uh, Chinos will come for revenge at some point. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I put it through Texas speech. I have no idea. They call themselves thieves, but they'll resort to violence if need be. We're one to talk. Thanks. I know. Thanks for looking out, partner. Now then. No problem. Now let's get moving. Hmm. Thoughts? Yeah, you weren't gonna... Yeah, you're not the good type of partner, are you? Yeah, that probably that explains why you would be kind of second guessing partnerships, wouldn't it? Oh, righty, that is gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video, second check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.